felt like the place to be at. Like, you know, it, it felt like, uh, like I needed to be there. You know, it, it just felt like the right place to be at. Um, well, I'm Jonathan Casillas. I'm a defensive captain of the New York Giants. I play linebacker. Uh, I'm going into my ninth year as a pro. Uh, my third year with the New York Giants. I am a two-time Super Bowl winner. Well, I'm pretty sure I was going to a church um, with my grandmother. And um, I don't know if it was like maybe somebody from the church or somebody from just the city in general said there's a really cool kids church, you know, that people go to. And um, that was New City. It was awesome. It was kids working and, you know, teaching us about the Bible. I felt like I needed to be there. Like I wanted to be around the people. I wanted to be around Pastor Trevor and Pastor Linda. I wanted to be around those people, you know. They made me feel great, you know, and you know, I was I was receiving the gospel, you know, I was receiving it from from them and in a different way I've never felt I never I never, you know, had before. So one of the things I remember very vividly is um, we had um, several different exercises that we would do and one of them was uh, we, washed, we washed each other's feet. And um, you know, at first, you know, we got a whole bunch of kids now. You know, I was nine years old at the time. You know, so we're kind of like grossed out by it. You know, I wouldn't touch your feet, you know? But um, it, 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 you know, it showed us how to be, you know, selfless, how to care for other people. You know, basically doing things that you would normally do for no one else and you do it because you care, because you love them. I thought that was one of the most amazing things that I ever experienced. I'm sure that was one of the most, if not the most impactful thing that happened to me when I was a kid. I would always try to think about how did I get to this point? And I think it all points back to New City. You know, um, I'm from Jersey City. I got my Jersey City hat on, I'm from here. And it's tough and then you're walking up and down these streets and you see fiends, you see drug dealers, you see prostitutes. and. It's just, I mean, I was just lucky that I was able to have the mom and my family that I had and I was introduced to New City at the age I did. Um, you know, I mean, I want to say it saved my life, you know, because um, I mean, I know people my age that are definitely locked up or, you know, went the wrong way. You know, that's the environment that we, that we live in. Do more. Whatever you're doing now, do more. I'm continually trying to do more every day. I think everyone should be like that because the generations behind us, I feel like they need that. They need it. They need people that understand the way the world works to let them and teach it to them because this world is very difficult. It's very, life itself is very tough. I call my locker room in football my sanctuary. I go there and all my problems and all my things that I have going on outside of, of the world, you know, my, my issues, whatever. I come there, it's my sanctuary. And for all of these kids, New City is their sanctuary. The sky's the limit for everybody. And I feel like you can do it on your own, but with New City helping you, anything is possible. And I truly believe that. I mean, I'm 20 years removed, and I'm a two-time Super Bowl champion. And I'm always back in the community. I'm always giving back with a smile on my face. And it's been instilled in me since I was nine years old. And I'm gonna continue to do it. And I hope you guys do too.